For the simple volar slab casting, you'll need web roll, 3-inch plaster slabs, rolled gauze, and a bucket of warm water. The patient's arm is in neutral position, 90 degrees at the elbow. You can have the patient hold or pretend to hold a drink container to achieve the neutral wrist position. We'll start the web roll at the wrist, working up and around the palm, no tension. You can tear the roll to accommodate the thumb or poke a hole, making sure the palm is well padded. Continue to wrap the forearm, placing the web roll, not pulling, and overlapping the material by about half its width. The covered area will extend from the distal palmar crease, leaving the thumb and fingers free, to the antecubital fossa, allowing flexion of the elbow. The simple volar slab will require 8 to 10 layers of plaster slabs. We measure for length against the arm and tear to fit. The plaster slabs are immersed in the warm water and squeezed in a rough accordion. The less water in the material, the more quickly it will dry to shape. The plaster generates heat. This exothermic reaction means rapid drying and setting. We cover the slab with the gauze roll, again unrolling without tension or pressure, and a little tape to hold the gauze in place.